this is the 22nd and final video in a series in which I am making this reproduction ADM3A dumb terminal. In the previous videos I've gone through the entire process from the start of the PCB reproduction uh, right through to getting the PCB into this repurposed enclosure. In the previous video I showed the keyboard, I was again repurposing an existing keyboard and I have since tested all the keys and they're all working fine. The key caps are not identical to those on the original ADM3 but it's fairly close with just a few changes uh, although I have mapped all the ADM3 uh, functions to one of the keys so all the functions are present and they do all work um, but some of the key caps are slightly different to the ADM3. So in this video what I thought I would do is demonstrate the reproduction terminal driving the Chromemco System 3 that you've seen me restore in previous videos and we'll see how the uh, reproduction terminal compares to the original ADM3 that I demonstrated previously. So we'll start by powering up the dumb terminal and we now have the cursor showing on the terminal uh, because of the mode that the terminal's in, the key presses won't show until the Chromemco is up and running because it's currently only going to show characters that are echoed from the remote machine. So we'll get the Chromemco booted up. So power it up and then we press return a few times on the dumb terminal. And you can see we now have uh, the RDOS system running on the dumb terminal. Next thing is to boot CDOS which of course is on the uh, floppy disk. So we insert the floppy disk into the Chromemco. Type B for boot and return and this should cause the a Chromemco system to boot into CDOS and as you can see it has indeed booted into CDOS and we have the CDOS prompt. So we should now be able to run the CDOS system. So as you can see CDOS is up and running. Uh, very nice bright display compares very favorably with the original ADM terminal. Uh, so someone asked about uh, transferring data from uh, one floppy disk to another. So by way of demonstration what we'll do is transfer data from the disk we've just booted from onto a second disk. So I'll put the target disk into the second drive, so that's in drive B. I'll just clear the display so we can see more clearly uh, what we're doing. And all we do is we type in the command that we want to execute in a very similar way to uh, we would if we were running uh, a system like DOS. Uh, and then the uh, target for the copy. And of course this will be in drive B. So as you can see it's transferring data from drive A to drive B. It takes a while of course, it's about 12k I think this particular file. So it's not uh, fast by any stretch and uh, as you can see it's completed that task and uh, copied the file. And you can see that file is now on drive B. So it all works very well. If we go back to drive A, and uh, we have programs such as basic, and so we now have basic up and running. So I mentioned in the previous video that the 
a shift lock key up is very handy on a terminal like this and especially if you're running a program like BASIC it's very useful uh, it saves you having to continually hold down the shift key when you're typing in programs um, but what I'll do is I'll type in the same program I uh, entered into the uh, system when we tested the ADM3 terminal and see how that looks on this particular screen Okay, so I've entered a very short program and uh, we'll try and run it and see what happens. So as you can see, it's working fine. So the terminal does indeed appear to work. It's reliable, it's not doing anything strange. It's not uh, causing the system to crash. It's uh, completed uh, this program now. So that's it for this series of videos. Uh, any questions or comments are welcome. Uh, the boards for the um, ADM3, the reproduction boards, are available on my website at JM Precision. Uh, and also I've got a small number of the uh, keyboard uh, replacement boards that I used for this PET um, keyboard. So if you want any of those then uh, just go to my website and have a look. Uh, but otherwise, uh, comments welcome.